they've been happily married for 33 years after George Michael set them up. And Martin and Shirley Kemp looked as loved up as ever as they led the celebrity arrivals at Cabaret All Stars in London on Thursday. The couple, both 59, put on a cozy display as they nestled together and beamed for the cameras in matching black outfits. Shirley looked stunning in a plunging black silk wrap dress with a lace cami top underneath. The Wham! Singer accessorized with a black chiffon headband, enviable Louis Vuitton shoulder bag and a large silver cross necklace. She accentuated her features with a natural makeup look and added a slick of pink lipstick, peachy blusher and mascara. Shirley wore her blonde dresses in a stylish blow dry that flicked out to the sides as she smiled for the cameras next to her husband in black pointy toed pumps. Meanwhile, Martin cut a dapper figure in a black double-breasted blazer with a patterned pocket square. He layered the jacket over a plain navy t-shirt and crisp black trousers and completed the stylish ensemble with a pair of matching trainers. Martin grinned as he entered the cabaret show and wore his hair in its signature spiked style. The couple were joined by TV presenter Tanya Buxton. 53, at the event who stepped out alongside her glamorous daughters Antigone and Sophia. Tanya wowed in a bright purple A-line dress and gladiator sandals and accessorized with a pair of eye-catching three-tiered earrings. Meanwhile, her daughters opted for monochrome ensembles as Antigone sported a busty white bodycon dress and Sophie opted for a halter neck little black dress. Also in attendance was chef Nisha Kedona, 49, who looked effortlessly stylish in a black and white floral shirt dress. And her fellow culinary expert Judy Yo stepped out in a chic black jacket, jeans and ballet flats for the show. Meanwhile, Judge Robert Rinder, 43, flashed a huge grin as he posed for cameras in a checked blue blazer and jeans. Martin and Shirley's date night comes after they revealed last year that they got together after George Michael set them up. Speaking on The One Show, Martin said that their close friend was the one who dialed his number on Shirley's phone when they first got together. He said, he had a big hand in all our life to be honest. Putting us together. He was the guy that made the phone call to me to get Shirley to come out. He dialed the numbers on the telephone. He got me the job in EastEnders. He looked after us in more ways that you can ever imagine. You know, he found the surgeon that in the end made me better. In reference to when he had a brain tumor in 1997 even though George dialed the number, Shirley insisted that she still spoke and George didn't pretend to be her.